Let's find out what Wisconsin's new voter photo ID law means for absentee voters. The next time you vote in Wisconsin may be a little different. That's because now, voters are bringing an acceptable photo ID to the ballot, even absentee voters. Almost everyone who votes by mail will need to include a photocopy of their ID with their absentee application. It's the new law, and you only have to do it once, unless your name or address changes. But for some absentee voters, exceptions in the law may mean that you do not need a photo ID at all. Who is exempt? It might be your best friend, a neighbor, or someone in your family. It could even be you. So listen closely. Some absentee voters are indefinitely confined to their homes because of their age, an illness, a disability, or infirmity. These voters don't need a photo ID. Neither do those living in a nursing home or care facility. Many facilities are served by special voting deputies there to help voters cast absentee ballots. If your facility doesn't have a deputy, ask an official at your care facility to sign the outside of your absentee envelope as proof of your ID. The third group of absentee voters who don't need a photo ID? Members of the military on active duty away from home. This includes merchant marines, military husbands and wives, and any voting age dependents. U.S. citizens who live permanently overseas but still want to vote in federal elections for the president or members of Congress can also mail in an absentee ballot without a photo ID. The same is true for confidential voters, usually a victim of stalking or abuse whose privacy is protected. For this group, no photo ID is ever required, whether they vote by mail or at the clerk's office. For all other absentee voters, these exceptions to Wisconsin's new voter photo ID law only apply to those ballots sent in by mail. Vote at the polls or your municipal clerk's office and you'll need to show the right photo ID. Absentee voters can find out more at bringit.wisconsin.gov. Sponsored by the Wisconsin Elections Commission. Also find us online at elections.wi.gov. Thank you.